It's been a while since we've done a Star Trek video, so let's get into it. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Trek Talk here on the Vocek Experience where idiots are still always us. Always me. Always. As all of us Star Trek fans know, yesterday was First Contact Day and uh, Paramount Plus dropped a crap ton of new Star Trek news and information for us. And, uh, and I'm here to uh, talk about just a, a few of those items. Number one on my list is we got a little bit more information on the new animated show, Star Trek Prodigy, that's coming to Nickelodeon. This is the animated series that's going to have a group of kids uh, commandeer a vessel, and it's also going to see the return of Kate Mulgrew and Captain Janeway. Now, other than the picture uh, that we got um, a couple of months ago, we haven't really gotten any kind of, you know, information, you know, other than that, really. Um, but uh, they threw out uh, some information uh, yesterday, this is looking like it could be a uh, a good series coming. We found out that this show is actually going to take place in the Delta Quadrant. This is the area of the galaxy where Star Trek Voyager uh, took place. And the timeline of this new animated series is going to be about five years after Voyager returned home at the on the last episode of uh, Voyager. And the way that they're going to be bringing Captain Janeway back is she's going to be a holographic Janeway. She's going to be some kind of uh, emergency training hologram that's going to be teaching these kids the ways of Starfleet and uh, the Federation and, uh, and Federation ideals. So that sounds uh, pretty interesting, especially since it's going to be a show about uh, some kids who are troubled. I was kind of thinking that this was going to probably take place in the Delta Quadrant because one of the alien kids that they showed in that picture looks like a Talaxian. And as we know, Talaxians are in the Delta Quadrant, just like Neelix. So I'm getting pretty excited for this show. It's going to uh, stream on Paramount Plus first before it heads to Nickelodeon, which uh, at first we uh, all figured it was going to air on Nickelodeon and then air on Paramount Plus, but turns out it's actually the flip side of that coin. They didn't give us an exact release date, but it will be coming out later on this year. And of course, if I find out any new information about this on when it's going to premiere, you can be bet I will be letting you all know. Number two on my list of things that I want to talk about is the second season of the other animated Star Trek show, Star Trek Lower Decks. Now, this show actually gave us a premiere date for the second season, and that is August 12th. The second season is going to have uh, 10 episodes, just like the first season. And we're going to pick up where season one left off with Boimler on the Titan with Riker and Troy, and the rest of our Lower Deckers still on the Cerritos. They didn't show too, too much of uh, footage from uh, the second season, um, but from what they did show, it's looking like it's going to be another solid season of laughter and, you know, Star Trek parody. And it's just, you know, I cannot wait for that. Star Trek Lower Decks has been one of my favorite uh, shows that came out last year. I know a lot of other fans out there aren't too sure about Lower Decks and you know, don't think that uh, Star Trek really should be, you know, a comedy and, you know, that kind of stuff. But um, I think it plays wonderful, um, especially the comedy in the first season. So I guess we can expect more of the same in season two. And even though season two has not premiered yet, they also dropped word that season three of Lower Decks is also a go. So I don't know about you, but I am looking forward to more of Lower Decks. And the third thing that I want to talk about is we got a uh, sneak peek at Star Trek Discovery's fourth season. And in that promo, we got to see uh, Captain Burnham uh, and the crew uh, going up against this kind of uh, gravitational anomaly. I don't know if that's going to be the, the big thing the whole season, but it looks like it's a pretty big thing at least to start out with. 
And in the promo, the, uh, we also see the return of uh, Michael's mother. We see uh, Saru on Canamar. Uh, it looks like he may be an ambassador, maybe. I'm not exactly sure. This is all just speculation from what I saw of the teaser trailer. And we see a lot of explosions, and we see a lot of damage taken to the Discovery because of this anomaly. And the other thing that I noticed in this uh, teaser trailer, the uniforms have changed again. At the end of Discovery's third season, you see, you finally see uh, the crew adopting the 32nd century uniforms uh, that we see Starfleet wearing, uh, where they're mostly gray with the, the colors on the little stripe uh, on the side of the uniform. Now, they kind of inverted that a little bit, where the, uh, the division colors are the whole uniform and the little strip, it looks black, but it could be gray. I'm not exactly sure, but um, it basically it's the same uniform as uh, season three. They just changed the colors just a little bit. And in my opinion, I think they look a little bit better than the gray ones of uh, the season finale. We also get to see Adira in gray. Uh, and I'm, I'm guessing uh, from what I've read and uh, from different videos I've seen, uh, they may even find a way to bring Gray back to where um, he's not just, you know, in Adira's imagination, where we can actually physically see him. So that ought to be cool to find out how they accomplish that. Another thing we also see is uh, Detmer has a upgraded implant on the side of her head by her eye. Um, I'm guessing it's a 32nd century equivalent to the implant she had from the first three seasons. So I'm curious to see uh, how they explain that and uh, what that's all about. They haven't exactly released a uh, or put out a release date for Discovery uh, Season 4, other than it's supposed to be coming sometime later on this year as well. So I'm excited for that. I love the third season of Discovery and looking forward to Season 4. And the fourth and final thing that I want to talk about is Star Trek Picard Season 2. We didn't really get to see uh, any new footage from season two of Picard, um, but we did see um, a little promo where you see all these like different uh, objects that pretty much tell time. And uh, Picard is uh, doing a voiceover and, uh, and it ends with, you see this playing card of a queen and everything on that card disappears and disintegrates until just the Q in the corner uh, shows and uh, signifying that Q is going to show up in season two. And that was also confirmed by one of the um, uh, first contact day panels that uh, they have uh, where um, John Delancey, the actor behind Q, does confirm that he will be back. But they don't give any details as to how or what's going to happen. We're all going to find all that out when uh, season two uh, comes out. But here's the disappointing part. Season two of Picard does not come out this year. It's scheduled for some time in 2022. So we're going to have to wait um, another year before we see season two. But the good news is they also renewed Picard for season three. So we will be getting another season after season two. If you're all looking to uh, watch all these uh, panels and uh, videos that were uh, released yesterday for First Contact Day, they are on Paramount Plus if you have that streaming service. But if you don't have Paramount Plus and you still want to see those videos, you can just by going to Paramount Plus YouTube channel and you can find all the videos that they released yesterday uh, on the different things coming up in Star Trek. There's videos about uh, new special effects, uh, uh, different things about, you know, how they created the uniforms, how they uh, created props, and uh, Kate Mulgrew is on there talking about her animated form of uh, Captain Janeway and a little bit about Prodigy. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff, even a tribute to Nichelle Nichols, who, um, without her, 
NASA wouldn't be what it is today because she was, you know, an avid advocate. I'll get it out. Uh, to get people interested in space and to, you know, work for NASA. So that's pretty remarkable. So that about does it for the new news that I got from uh, uh, these videos. Uh, and I thought I'd share them all with you and some of my thoughts. So uh, as always, um, if you like this video, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell so you get notified of future videos. And if you want to support this channel, you can check out my Patreon link. That's down below. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, that link is down below. And TikTok, you can follow me there. That link is also down below. And um, Twitter, you can find me there. That link is down below. And Facebook, uh, check out uh, that link for that down below. And if you're looking for some merch... I got that for you as well. Check out my merch link. That's down below in the description. And I've also updated some of the uh, the links in my description as well. I've also added um, my wife's social media accounts and uh, some of her things that she's got going on. So if you want to check out that too, go right on ahead. All those links are down below. So what Star Trek shows are you looking forward to the most? Prodigy, Lower Decks, Discovery, Picard, Strange New Worlds. Um, let me know uh, in the comments down below. So, uh, but as always, I hope you all are having a good day. Live long and prosper, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!